Hey, welcome to day 338. We're in Acts. Um, now we skipped day 337 for a video. There just wasn't a lot in there for what uh, purposes that I was doing. So um, it's just more about Paul being uh, going from one place to another, being put in prison and back to Jerusalem and, and having to answer for the things that people were claiming he had done wrong and the crimes that they claimed he committed and he hadn't committed any crime. Okay, so, and now he's uh, in, at this stage in front of uh, one of the Roman commanders, and he is, Paul's a Roman citizen, uh, he also was a Pharisee, so he's well-trained, he's well-versed. The only difference is he was confronted by Jesus and told what to do, and so he went and did it. Um, he didn't negate the law, he didn't change the law, he still stood for the law, and he just went around telling people about Christ. He didn't break any of the Jewish laws. And so now he's in front of the Roman commanders. And there's one point to make from today. And this is a great white throne judgment um, <clears throat> uh, verse. Uh, there's lots of other things in these that we sh we could talk about. Uh, but um, I wanted to point these this one verse out, and that'll be it for today, in chapter 24 about judgment. So Paul is on trial and he gives his testimony after his accusers have accused him. You remember that the accuser is in heaven accusing you every day, okay? And Jesus is there defending you. Here's what Paul says in chapter 24, verse 15. I have the same hope in God that these men have. Okay, so the, the Jewish people are putting their hope in God. They, they're not uh, worshiping a different God, multiple gods. He's talking to the people who worship the same God he does. That he will raise both the righteous and the unrighteous. So when both the righteous and the unrighteous are raised, okay, this will be uh, at the great white throne judgment. At the rapture, only the righteous people are raised. So, after the rapture, <clears throat> whoever dies in the tribulation is either righteous or unrighteous. Whoever dies in the great white, uh, in the thousand year reign of Christ is either righteous or unrighteous. And both the dead, great and small, will be raised at the great white throne judgment and they will be separated. And it'll be the righteous and the unrighteous, and the unrighteous will be thrown into the lake of fire at the end of the thousand-year reign. So that's what he's talking about. Yeah, I mean, also, the rapture is in there, too, if you want it, because the righteous are going to be raised at the rapture. End of story. Okay? So <clears throat> when they're both raised, righteous and unrighteous alike, that's the great white throne judgment. Now, what the last thing is the righteous versus unrighteous. There is no gray area. There is no in-between. It is very black and white. You either are righteous or you are unrighteous. And you are righteous, made right with God through Jesus Christ. Because you were chosen, not because of what you did. You are already righteous. You may screw up. You may have issues and, and, and problems. But you are on your way to the rapture. Plain and simple. What happens between now and then, that's up to you. You are to try to be the best person you can be. Do good things. Do good things. And help people. That's it. Be the best you can be. That's your day 338. I'll see you tomorrow.